Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are looking at scale factor with area. And we'll see some connections. What to expect is that we are going to talk about the ratio of areas. We're going to look at sample questions that give us a little bit of practice. So let's get into the scale factor and what that has to do with area. First off, we're going to look at the ratio of two figures and we want to think about anything that we might notice about the ratio of these two areas. So let's pull out a couple of figures here. First off, our familiar red rectangle that's four meters by one meter. If we're given that it has a scale factor of two, this would be our new drawing. Right, these two drawings have a scale factor of two. In other words, the measurement of any length or width of the of the rectangle, the first rectangle, times two will give you that measurement on the second one. Now what does this have to do with area? Well, let's look. If our area is length times width, that will give us in this first rectangle four times one, which is four square meters. The area of the second rectangle is length times width, or 8 times 2, which gives us 16 square meters. Now when we look at those two numbers, area of our first is 4 square meters, and the area of the second is 16 square meters, what is the ratio of those two numbers? Well, it's 4, right? There's a ratio of 4. 16 divided by 4 gives us 4. And what's important about that ratio of, of 4 is that it is the scale factor squared. Let's see if this pattern holds for our next example. We have our a new rectangle that's 3 by 1 with a scale factor of 3 this time. It's not drawn to scale, but Please forgive my crude drawings and just look at this. Scale factor of 3 would give us a rectangle that was 9 meters by 3 meters. Calculate the area of each. Length times width. 3 times 1 is 3 square meters. 9 times 3 is 27 square meters. So if our scale factor is 3, the ratio of the areas is 3 squared right it's 9 the ratio between the two right 27 divided by 3 would give us 9 so our ratio remains the scale factor squared now we've only used rectangles so I want to make sure that we are really delving into this and making sure that this pattern does follow so we're going to try it out with triangles and not just any type of triangles, triangles that go from larger to smaller. So we're trying out a whole bunch of different things and we're going to see if this rule continues to hold. So we're given with these two that we have a scale factor of one third. In other words, three times one third gives us one, six times one third gives us two. Our scale factor between the length of the, of the sides of the triangle is one third. Now we're going to calculate the area of both triangles. The formula for area of a triangle is the base times the height divided by 2. So 6 times 3 divided by 2, which will give us 9 square meters on this first triangle. Base times height divided by 2 gives us 1 square meter on our second triangle. So our area is 9 square meters and 1 square meter. Is that a consistent ratio with taking our scale factor to the power of 2? Now, because it's um, fractions, I'm going to briefly go over this. Um, one third to the power of 2 is one third times one third, which would give us one ninth. And that is exactly the scale, or the ratio, I'm sorry, of the areas. That is exactly the ratio of those two areas, 1 out of 9, 1 ninth. So when our scale factor was 1 third, our, the ratio of the areas was 1 ninth. So from those three examples, we can come to this rule. 
that when you have similar figures, the scale factor squared gives you the ratio of the areas. And that's going to be a consistent rule. I just wanted to show you three examples that kind of prove that that rule was true. Now we're going to go on to actually using that rule inside of a sample question. Let's get started. When we find the area of a scale drawing and then use that area to calculate the actual area. All right, so that is the assignment. Here's a picture of an apartment that you should never move into. It'd be really dull. You'd either be sitting in the kitchen all day or sitting in the bathroom all day. There's no living room. But aside from that, let's go ahead and calculate the area. To do that, we're going to find the area of the actual scale drawing right there, just the scale drawing. Then we're going to use the ratio of areas to calculate the actual area. So first off, area of the scale drawing, length times width, three and a half inches times two, which gives us seven square inches. A very small apartment, but good thing we're told one inch is equal to 10 feet. All right, at this point, we could solve the area of this drawing in two different ways. One, we could go over here and say three and a half inches times 10 and two times 10 and get the actual measurement of length and then multiply those two numbers or we can use the ratio of areas is our scale factor squared. We have a scale factor of 10 so we're just going to square that and make that into our ratio of the areas is 100. So I'm going to multiply the area of the little triangle rectangle times the ratio of the areas, which was 10 squared, and that will tell me the actual area of this apartment is 700 square feet. All right? And that's how you would do this type of question. So quick recap. Scale factor is a ratio. It's a ratio of the length or the measurement of each side of a, fig a similar figure. The ratio of the areas is found by taking that scale factor and squaring it. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.